A very different looking day than the last time the elite men raced here in Beijing in 2008. That was the site of that historic Olympic men's race with Jan Ferdino outrunning Simon Whitfield and Bevan Doherty. And off they go. It is a long 1,500 meter swim. They do not come out of the water. And very early on, Alistair and John Brownlee taking it out very quickly. Men very tightly bunched together. Water temperature 25, but the air temperature just 15 and expect it to get much tougher throughout the day with more clouds and rain expected. And it's a Brownlee one, two out of the water. Johnny and Alistair coming out. The Russians for Kankoff right in there. Polianski into the group as well. And they'll be using the same format on this course that they did three years ago. It is a big group of men heading out onto this six lap. 40 kilometer ride. There's Brekankov trying to get away. That very classic blue turf and the men have to watch the rain there as you can see. A small break off the front but not really materializing as lap after lap a group of 39 men in the league group. Most of the big players. The chase group including the likes of Chris McCormick and Rudy Wild and Bruno Paez about a minute back and there's Sven Reeder getting ready to come off the bike. Can anybody touch the Brownleys? As long as Alistair Brownlee comes on the top two, he will be the world champion for 2011 here in the grand final in Beijing. 39 men coming off. It is still cool. Who has anything left in their legs? This is a very tough 40 kilometer bike. They're down now at one hour 17 and change. They'll have about a minute gap back to the athletes behind. Four laps on this run course and a lot of hills are gonna have to go up and over. The Brownleys, one and two. Can Gomez get the job done here and claim another world championship title? How about the young French athlete, David Haas? Maybe Videl. Well, it's Brownlee heading off onto the course. The Germans in there, Petzl trying to get something special. Ivan Rania, a three-time Olympian who was fifth on this course just three years ago in a very solid position right now. Lots of money, lots of points on the line. The Spaniards, obviously, it'll be Gomez they're cheering for. The American, Sherbat right there, trying to will his body up. But it's Alistair Bradley starting to pull away from Johnny Bradley and Sven Reeder right in third place right now. Incredible as they come to the late stages. Vidal and Gomez fighting it out very close together. And they're down now to less than a kilometer to the finishing line. And it is going to be a world championship title and a grand final win. For Alistair Brownlee, last year he won the grand final, but it was Gomez winning the title. The second across the line today, Sven Reeder, what an incredible performance. Third across the line will be Johnny Brownlee. He'll be second for 2011. Polianski, a great performance. And third on the day, John Brownlee steps up from under 23 last year, right onto the podium. Sven Reeder, silver, and nobody close to Alistair Brownlee as Britain gets two on the podium. The brothers Brownlee, top of the podium for 2011, nobody close. Um, yeah, obviously it's nice and cold and wet, which I enjoyed as soon as I woke up this morning. I was like, yes. Um, the swim was really easy. I mean, I just tracked Johnny all the way around. He took me straight to the front and we came out first and second. Um, we knew the bike was dangerous, so we just tried to keep it in control, made sure no one got away, um, make sure we didn't fall off around the corners. We knew it was slippy and then on the run we were running and I thought the two of us were away. Um, but I, it's just like running through treacle today, to be honest, I didn't feel great and I knew Johnny wasn't feeling great because I could tell him, you know, you know when he's not feeling good if you train with him every day. Um, and, but I wanted to try and keep him with me, but I realized I had to kind of go on that last lap. So I pushed on and yeah, it was just glad, glad across the line really.